today's video we're going to be talking about fat loss mistakes. So uh, to jump straight into the video, um, <laughs> take take three. <laughs> okay, so today. talking about fat loss mistakes and the first mistake which I'm going to talk about is not eating enough calories obviously we know for you to be in a fat loss state you need to be in a calorie deficit and obviously to be in a calorie deficit you need to eat less calories but one mistake I see people doing they jump into a calorie uh, deficit too quick they make the deficit too big and they start eating ridiculous amount of calories so say for example the way you used to eat in so the maintenance was 3000 calories instead of having a 500 calorie you know deficit to start with they go on to like 2000 calories the problem with this you're putting your body you're, you're making such changes to your body that your body is not going to adapt quick enough and the problem with this you're more likely to, to lose muscle mass if you make a, such a big calorie deficit so quick so my advice is Make a calorie deficit which is sufficient to you, but don't make it too big that you're actually going to put your body at a disadvantage. I'm going to talk about not drinking enough water. That's like one of the basics for, it doesn't matter if you're actually bulking or cutting, you should be drinking enough water anyway. But something that I notice is when most people are cutting, and most people in general, they just don't drink enough water. And sometimes you feel like you're hungry and you tend to go eat some snacks and something. Mm. But most of the time, if you just drink, uh, like a cup of water your hunger is going to go away straight away that's like one of the ways you can manage in order to keep your calories low and keep your metabolism fast in order to actually burn more fat yeah yeah that's that's a that's a very good point because i remember when i was doing my cut there were days i was feeling so hungry but you know it's a mental thing but when you drink water it sort of suppresses your appetite so water is really key in my opinion as well as he said Definitely. Definitely. So another uh, mistake which I think some people do as well is snacking in between meals. So obviously you've established your calorie deficit, but then say for example people say okay if I have just, a, let me just have this little snack or a handful of almonds or a cup of fruits and things like that. They don't see it as doing any harm, but in reality, the more you keep doing that, you're actually going to put your body into a surplus. About the snacking, um, carb selection is really important. So if you have a simple carb instead of um, complex one your ability to stay um how do you say when you're not hungry anymore you know so basically i don't know how to explain it yeah like, whatever but yeah if you imagine if you eat sweet potato instead of eating like uh chocolate or something you know yeah you're gonna you're gonna be able to control your hunger for much longer because it's a complex carb, yeah. you know? Yeah, it, ta it takes longer for your body to digest it. Yeah. So you're gonna be able again to control your calorie intake instead of eating chocolate, eating chocolate, eating chocolate, or eating like candy bars and stuff like that, you know? So carb selection is really important, complex over simple. Yeah. The only time that I would suggest you to actually eat a simple carb is after like post-workout just to recover from it, you know? You wasted all that glycogen and stuff like that so you need the energy back you can have a simple carb but throughout the day try to go for complex carbs yeah complex carbs will give you the energy you need to go through it in yeah. your day as well because remember if you're in a deficit you're gonna, not gonna have much energy so don't waste it on like you said ch chocolate bars and things like that yeah. and another uh, fat loss uh, mistake is drinking your calories obviously um during a fat loss i suggest you don't Obviously you can still have like protein shakes and things like that, but I suggest you limit it because the more calories you drink, the more likely you are going to get hungry. If you eat, like you said, complex carbs, like food, whole foods, it's going to fill you up more and you're going to stay less hungry. And so you're going to be less likely to slip back into cheating or, you know, not sticking to the diet. So I suggest you eat your, your meals and not drink your meals. Yeah. Uh, my last tip is something that I used to do and a lot of people do it as well. When they try to lose weight, they cut the carb, the fat instead of the carbs. Back in the day, I used to believe that fats were the enemy, when fats are not the enemy. Fats are actually essential for your well-being and for your hormonal balance and your body balance in general. So, 
don't cut your fats. Actually, you have diets. Yeah, like keto, keto, keto diet. diet. Yeah, they are mostly protein and fats and proteins. Keto, 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 you know, yeah. and people lose a lot of weight with stuff like that. So fats are not the enemy. Of course, that doesn't mean you're gonna go straight to Pizza Hut and just have three pizzas. Of course, but keep your fats. Keep your your good fats. You know. Yeah. Keep your um, your protein intake um, and lower the carbs. At the end of the day, it's all about carb cycling and carb managing throughout the day. That's what I do, and I had a lot of results like that. If you manage your carbs and not your fats, you just keep your fats the way they are. Yeah, that's very very true. So yeah, guys, those are our top t uh, fat loss mistakes. Uh, if you guys have been any of our mistakes do feel free to comment them in the comment section do check out his instagram and yeah. also check out unigain's instagram as well it's an instagram page dedicated to university students like-minded ones so do check that out like always people don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in a bit peace I might link my ting from barking 7 a.m. in the morning She's calling, I'm yawning She's jarring, no stalling I might link my ting from barking